Hi everyone, today we are going to look into some secret techniques to differentiate expressions such as this or this. But before that, do subscribe to this channel to receive regular techniques and tutorials that will level up your math skills. Alright, let's start off with the basics. Now, we are going to find the derivative of sine 2x, meaning to differentiate this with respect to x. Firstly, we are going to zoom right in to the angle. Just look at the angle. Differentiate this angle with respect to x, which gives us a value of 2. Place this value of 2 on the first part of the statement. Next, change the trigger ratio from a sine to a cosine. If you differentiate sine, it always gives you a cosine. Finally, keep the angle, don't ever change it, copy the original down as it is. And so there you have it, the derivative of sine 2x is basically 2 cosine 2x. Now let's try the same flow for the derivative of cosine 3x. Now first, differentiate the angle, which gives us a value of 3. Write this down at the front with a small space in front of it. Next, convert cosine to a negative sine. Differentiating cosine will always give us a negative sine. Therefore, we put a small space in front of the 3 so that we can put a negative sine over there. And remember, copy down the original angle. Don't ever change this angle. And this will give us minus 3 sine 3x. So let's try another one. Differentiate the angle which gives us minus 4, convert cosine to a negative sine. At this point, you can place the negative sign outside and introduce a square bracket, which gives us minus, minus 4 sine minus 4x. Simplifying, we will then have 4 sine minus 4x. Remember, always keep the original angle. Let's try one more involving tangent to solidify our understanding. So, differentiate the angle, which gives us 2. And if we differentiate tangent, it always gives us a secant square. So, write that down quickly over there, secant square, and keep the original angle, which gives us 2x. So, there you have it. This is the derivative of tangent 2x. Now, let's up the challenge and differentiate something like this expression, where there is a power on top of the trigonometric ratio. We are going to introduce the chain rule to help us find this derivative. Now do check out the previous video on chain rule linked below if you haven't done so. So very firstly, let's bring down the power 3. Next, retain the original trigonometric ratio, which in this case is a sine, and minus 1 to the power, giving us a power of 2. Next, imagine yourself covering the power right now. Differentiate what you see using the skills you have learned in the earlier part of the video. So differentiate the angle first, which gives us a value of 2, and change the ratio to a cosine, and always retain the original angle, giving us 2 cosine 2x. Now I will put the value of 2 at the front, and multiply cosine 2x at the back. So this gives us 6 sine square 2x cosine 2x. Now the important thing over here is to get the flow right. So let's try a cosine now. Remember, bring down the power, which is 3. Retain the original trigger ratio, which is a cosine. Minus 1 to the power, which gives us a 2. And copy down the same angle, 3x minus 1. Next, cover the power. And then differentiate what you see, which is cosine 3x minus 1. This will give us minus 3 sine 3x minus 1. Multiply this minus 3 to the front and place the sine 3x minus 1 at the back. So simplifying, we will then have minus 9 cosine square 3x minus 1 sine 3x minus 1. If you get this flow right, you will be like a pro differentiating any trigger functions. Now let's cover all grounds and try to introduce a question that involves a product rule. Now if you see over here, this function is a product of two variables, 2x and sine 3x. Therefore, we are going to use the product rule to help us differentiate this expression. 
Now we are going to keep the second part, which is sine 3x, differentiate the first part, which is 2. Product rule starts with the letter P, introduce the plus sign. Keep the first part, which is 2x, differentiate the second part, which is 3 cosine 3x. Now let's try to simplify this by factorizing 2. We will have 2 multiplied with sine 3x plus 3x cosine 3x. Now this is a derivative of this expression. If you need help with the product rule, do check out the video linked in the description box below. I have a full range of videos that includes the product and the quotient rule for you. Last but not least, let us introduce another question that involves the quotient rule. Now the quotient rule is introduced when you have a quotient of two functions, like this, cosine x over x. What we do is to keep the second part, which is the denominator, x, and differentiate the first part, which is minus sine x. Remember, differentiating cosine x always gives us a minus sine x. In the quotient rule, we will introduce a minus sign, keep the first part, which is cosine x, differentiate the second part, which is 1, over, square the denominator, which is x squared. Simplifying, we will then have minus x sine x minus cosine x over x squared. Now I have prepared some practice questions for you that is linked in the description box below. It comes also with the free work answers so that you can refer to. And do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. I wish you all the best and success in your differentiation journey.